Greetings, friends, and welcome to this time of guided meditation. I'm Pastor Dale Peterson, Senior Pastor at Faith Lutheran in Waconia, Minnesota, and I welcome you. Thank you for joining me for this session of guided prayer and meditation, a time we also call Lectio Divina, or Divine Reading, where Scripture is read, read through three times, and the first time through I make some comments and invite you just to get the big picture, um, sort of general themes, uh, first impressions, and then the second reading through to, to focus in on a word or phrase, an image that comes to you that seems to be God's word for you today. A couple of comments after the second reading, and after the third reading, I invite you to take that image or phrase, that word, maybe it's a feeling, an impression that you have that seems to speak to your heart, to your soul, that is uh, something that just comes in and settles within you. And so I invite you to focus on that, to let that crystallize, something you can hang on to and put it like a gem in your pocket that you can you know, re re reach down in and, uh, and take out, take a look at, remember meditate on. So it's a time now that we call restful attentiveness. So I invite you to rest. Part of resting and spiritual direction is to take deep, full breaths. I close my eyes for much, much of our session and invite you, if that's comfortable for you in your practice, to, to close your eyes. Let them gently close. Let the muscles of your face relax. Let your head and neck, your shoulders relax. Let your weight sink. See if you can Feel yourself being supported, held, secure. In the same way God holds you secure in God's hand. Jesus looks upon you with eyes of compassion, knows your heart, knows your thoughts, knows your deepest desires. So I invite you to Take those deep, full breaths. Inhale to the count of four or five. Exhaling a little longer to the count of six or seven. Knowing that deep breathing helps us to rest, to relax, that it reduces stress. Studies show that it relieves tension, helps us to think more clearly and to concentrate. So take some time to breathe deeply and fully, exhaling deeply and fully. Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit, and so we receive that gift of the Holy Spirit in our birth, in our baptism, in our life each day. We are spiritual beings in a physical body. There are things we just cannot explain, things that happen, things that seem to place us in a, a different world, a different plane. It can be great pain or agony, it can be great joy or celebration, but something that points us to realities greater than ourselves. And we, as Christians, we call that God, God's presence, the Holy Spirit, the love, of Jesus, the grace that comes to us, the gift of life.
breath necessary for life, spirit for the animation of our souls, the joy of imagination, the presence of God bringing comfort and peace, serenity. I remind you it is in the mercy of Almighty God that Jesus Christ was given to die for you and for his sake God forgives you all your sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. Receive that gift. Acknowledge that gift. Enjoy that gift. Being loved. Being seen as beloved. A part of God's family. As God loves all of creation and all people, may we delight in that love and in this time, these next moments, be attentive to that love, that grace, that voice of God that comes to us constantly. I read today from Psalm 91. popular song or hymn based on this psalm is called On Eagle's Wings. You'll, if you're familiar with that song, will hear familiar words in this psalm. And so I read Psalm 91, verses 1 through 6. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. God will cover you with God's pinions, and under God's wings you will find refuge. God's faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. Interesting images in this psalm. You who live in the shelter of the Most High. And that is us, that we all live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Just this sense of being under God's wing, under God's protection, under God's love, the shelter of the Most High, Almighty. Words we don't use real often, but words that help point us to God, not so much describe as, as point and help us to appreciate God more. And it says to those of us, all of us who live in the shelter, who abide in the shadow, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And we have some military imagery here that I hesitate to use too often, but it, it makes the point in this psalm, my refuge and my fortress. A fortress set up for protection to be inside would be to be safe, to be safe from enemies, to be safe from threats, to be safe from whatever there is outside of the fortress, my refuge, my place where I go, place where I go for that safety, serenity, calm, and sureness. We will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And that God in whom we trust to place our faith in is that God who loves us, who created us, who sent God's Son, Jesus, for us, who blesses us with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And then it says, For God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. And the fowlers in this day were professional bird catchers, and they would put nets out 
and catch birds. They would even catch birds and keep them in captivity till they had young ones. And then they would set these traps when the young ones would sing or call out, it would attract other wild birds. And so there was this idea, the snare of the fowler was something that would catch you and trap you and limit your life and hold you and even attract others into the net. For God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Pestilence like a pandemic, like a plague, like COVID-19, the coronavirus. Will deliver you from the deadly pestilence. Be with you in that. And I don't think God spares us for any particular reason or special treatment that we all could be vulnerable to a virus, to pestilence, but we will be delivered. God will be present with us. And it says, we'll cover you with his pinions, which are those outer feathers of birds' wings, the ones that help to enable flight, and under God's wings, you will find refuge. God will cover you with God's pinions, and under God's wings, you will find refuge. Underneath that place, protected. And we can even think of even soaring as eagles, protected, held by God, maybe even in a loving way by God's claws that hold us and help us to soar and we are protected under God's pinions and wings, the whole wing. God's faithfulness, a shield and buckler. The shield we can picture as a familiar word, but it's a large protection, maybe as big as from our knees to over our head, a big shield that would keep and protect us. But a buckler was a much smaller shield worn on the arm that was for smaller fights or fast moving or uh, knocking off those arrows and or those knives in close range. So the shield, the big protection, the buckler, the flexible, easier one to move, but God being both our shield and buckler. Physical protection. And there's always the spiritual level. We always need to look at the spiritual level of the Psalms and see what is on that plane of the spirit. Things having to do with sin and forgiveness, temptation and uh, redemption. So it moves to that. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence, again, the plagues, the pandemics that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. Somewhat bleak imagery, but we have the light the strength, the love, the protection of God that is the promise that God will bear us up on wings like eagles. God will command God's angels concerning us and guide us, guard us in all our ways. God will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. Great images in this psalm. And so we're just invited to let this psalm speak to us, to point us to God, to bring us more fully into God's presence, and then let the Spirit work in our mind, in our heart, in our soul, in whatever way the Spirit will lead. Just let the Word come in and move around like wind within you. Let it speak. 
So I invite you, if you can, to continue to take those deep breaths. And maybe if you can picture in your mind a whiteboard that's got all kinds of words and scribbling and things to do and places to go and worries that you have and picture that whiteboard and just wipe it clean so that now in front of you is this clean white board and take a marker of your favorite color and now in this reading see what God would write on that white board for you that the Holy Spirit brings a word or a phrase Write that on the board so you can picture it, so you can take it away. Just take that blank whiteboard and let God write with your favorite color whatever it is that might come to you from the Spirit. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. God will cover you with God's pinions, and under God's wings you will find refuge. God's faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. Rest in the shelter of God's wings, a refuge, a fortress, protection. And let that give you strength to leave the fortress and take risks. love boldly, to embrace God's creation, breathe in peace and serenity, breathe out love to neighbor and friend. Breathe in strength. Breathe out grace to those you are closest to. It's a promise of 24 hour protection, seven days a week. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day, the pestilence that stalks in darkness or destruction that wastes at noonday, day and night. We can have the strength and confidence and hope to not fear, but live boldly, celebrate life, Take it in and let it go. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. God will cover you with God's pinions, 
and under God's wings you will find refuge. God's faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. Dear friends, God's peace and protection, God's grace and love, God's presence be with you this day, tonight, tomorrow, and always. In the name of God, our Creator, God, our Redeemer, and God, our Sanctifier, go in peace. Amen.